here from Libby Clegg, world medalist athlete with disability, accompanied by her guide, Mikhail Huggins. Donald McIntosh, coach and manager of our record-breaking shooters from 2010, and Victor Keelan, wrestling technical official. Three people representing all the coaches, athletes and officials at these games. They will take an oath on their behalf. We will take part in these Commonwealth Games in the spirit of true sportsmanship. We will respect and honour the rules of our sports as we respect each other. And we will show the world that the values of our Commonwealth are ideals in which we believe. Our shared humanity, the respect we give each other. Our, our shared, shared equality, equality, the level playing field on which we, we compete. And our shared destiny to win, or to remember how to, we tried our best to win, and left our mark here. This, this is our oath. Oath. In a few minutes' time, we'll hear the words of Prince Imran as he introduces Her Majesty the Queen as Head of the Commonwealth to open our Games. Prince Imran is not only President of the Games Federation, he is a Prince of Malaysia, a nation which has been touched by great tragedy in recent weeks. In last week's disaster, 43 Malaysians died. Almost one-third of the 298 victims were citizens of the Commonwealth. 193 came from our European neighbours in the Netherlands who observed their own time of mourning today. Please rise now, please stand, as we observe a, a moment's silence to express our support and, above all, our solidarity with the loved ones of all those of every nationality who lost their lives. Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished guests, athletes and officials, people of Scotland and citizens of the Commonwealth. In just a few moments, the 20th Commonwealth Games will begin. This is the culmination of a long journey which has seen so many people dedicate their hearts, passion and energy to win and then deliver a Games that the Commonwealth will be proud of. British Olympian of all time, Sir Chris Hoy. And to present the Queen's baton to Chris, please welcome his great uncle Andy Keegan, nominated by Chris as one of his greatest sporting inspirations. That's a great moment. Chris acknowledging the man who helped him along the way to record numbers of gold medals at the Olympics and here at the Commonwealth. And I have to say, John, is that bat has travelled around the world and thrilled everybody who's seen it in person. And now it's finally arrived in Glasgow because a lot of people will be utterly thrilled by that. Start this journey on the 14th of June, designed here in Glasgow by Willie Mitchell. Weighs less than two kilograms. That man could lift 200 kilograms. <laughs> 